My girlfriend of two years won't forgive me for cheating on my ex-fiance and I am at a loss. Cheater's gonna cheat and maybe cheat again. And yeah. you know what? Reader's gonna read. Read it. So let's get into it. This is sponsored by Aura, but more on that later. I'm just gonna jump in. Some background. So I know this sub often quotes once a cheater, always a cheater. I agree and disagree at the same time. I cheated on my ex-fiance when and I- And he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. When I was 24 years old, I had recently found out after my mother had passed that she was not actually my mother, but my grandmother. What? Oh my goodness. So this is like a DNA test and cheating story Double. combined. Double. It's OKOP Christmas. Wow, it's, it's an OKOP <laughs> triple quadruple whammy. Two for one shampoo. Yeah. My, oh. yeah, stories. And thank you to all of you who are coming in. That's Two right. hours late, but hey, we're freaking here. We're coming in, giving you the story, ladies and gentlemen. So Opie goes on to say, wow, my junkie sister who OD'd when I was 15 was actually my bio mom. Oh. So it's the classic my mom. How, I love how this <laughs> is a classic. It is a classic, classic. situation. Yeah, yeah. My, my junkie mom you know. my sister. This is uh, OKOP. The best episode of Doctor Who, one of the best episodes, follows that plot line. Are you my mommy? Well, Are you thanks my for mommy? spoiling it for yeah, me, Sophia. I was going to watch the wow. doctor. But let's get back to the story. Uh, my fiance at the time, Alma, told me that I needed to get over it because there was nothing I could do get over the mom passed away and him finding out like oh my, my, sister, my sister was actually my yeah, mom yeah. the whole time right get over it <laughs> god <laughs> she stopped wanting to talk to me even if it was about her day and i felt emasculated constantly she refused to do it with me for months at a time and i withdrew we both stopped trying but neither of us were ready to let go as we were both high school sweethearts and were afraid of being without each other long story short i had a one night stand. They hadn't been hooking up for like months, and but that's when you break up. Yeah, you for their up. whole relationship. But an OP and is now ex fiance at the time. Like they didn't want to leave each other. They're high school sweethearts. Leave, <sighs> leave each other. Yeah, leave, leave each, each other. other, guys. Just leave, each other leave. In the leave if they should leave. Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. us know. Should they should leave? They leave just or should us. they stay? Just tell us. In the moment, it felt nice that someone was interested in my day, in me, and found me sexually attractive. And then it felt like someone dropped a boulder on me. Kind of happens when you cheat my guy <laughs> i told my fiance alma immediately the day after and we split up i am by no means proud of myself for cheating getting back to the story here i felt sick to my stomach looking at myself and took a year to reevaluate my life i moved apartments hit the gym ate better tried buddhism and now i feel better <laughs> Wow, what tried a or like fully tried went Buddhism. in? Just try. Yeah, just like spiritually enlightened myself. Was it for me? <laughs> you cannot try. Only do. Only booed. Ism. She apologized for pulling away, and I apologized for cheating, and we forgave each other. Whoa. Closure. That's good. We will never be great friends again, but I feel better knowing that we both won't cringe when we see the other person. I met my now girlfriend, Sasha, at a mutual friend's party. I got her number and we really hit it off. When we broached the conversation about past relationships, I told her what happened between me and Alma. I told her that if she had any questions or if this made her feel uncomfortable, then to let me no she seemed fairly understanding though she had never cheated or been cheated on and we continued to have a wonderful relationship and we moved in together in november okay oh. so moving on moving on fast forward to now ish she started to become increasingly curious about my cheating incident she asked me if the one night stand and I ever talked about it after. She asked me about the one night stand if I ever talked about it after, if she knew I had a fiance, if Alma wanted to try and work things out, if I ever tried to get with other women in relationships, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, so she's like, mm, is, this, yeah. is this going to happen to me? Yeah. I answered her honestly to all the questions and let her know that if she's concerned, if I'm going to cheat again, I will keep my electronics and such open to her. Basically, you can have my phone. Look, I ain't cheating. This is is a slippery slope that we're entering into slippery slope uh, things seem to be all right for a bit until i noticed that sasha was compulsively going through my devices oh no she didn't ask me any more questions regarding my infidelity <laughs> but just became very jealous and controlling for example three weeks ago i had to take my computer to the shop because it had been acting buggy oh no come to find out that it had a key logger of some sort that had been installed on my computer Whoa. oh 
Oh my god. I okay, wonder... so she's going like full on hacking. Oh no, she said she hadn't been cheated on in the past. Hadn't been in the past. Yeah, she hadn't yes. been cheated on the past. So yeah. this isn't from This is her first rodeo. Yeah. This is her first rodeo. Being with a cheater. Quick question for you two and everyone in the comments, and we'll check in in a sec. Do you leave the relationship at this point? Break yeah, up or not? I'm curious Break if someone not. if someone cheated in a past relationship, would that hurt your current relationship? And also, happy Crystal and I don't. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, sleepless, sleepless nights. nights. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. I feel like once we get to the break, we should sing happy birthday for you. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Great. Yeah, we, we will sing you happy Stay birthday. For Stay sure. tuned. Stay, Stay tuned for sleep and happy birthday. Yeah. Is, that, is that a copyright no. thing? No. Happy birthday is a copyright. <laughs> they won't be able to do that. They won't <laughs> okay. be able to do that. Not uh, us singing. They will be. I was like. I think I think a uh, happy birthday I song is past the copyright. Oh, it is? Oh, good. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> to my That's been awkward. All right. Copyright, happy birthday. But let's get back into this story. So. I brought this up to Sasha and she asked why I took my computer in. That it works fine for her and that maybe it was downloaded when I went onto some porn site or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It seems a little sus. Uh. Another example would be Alma messaging me on Facebook last week wondering why I had sent her and another girl from my high school text messages. So texting Alma, the ex-fiance, and some other female friends from school. Wait, he's been texting? Or they have received some texts from him. They have received. Is he the one sending them? Oh, is he shit. the one typing the messages that are being sent? So she's trying to do like her history. She's messaging them. She's oh, messaging sorry. them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sophia and said, Sophia, and Sophia is here, is is here with the rest of us. So Opie says, I had no idea what she was talking about. And she sent me screenshots from a cell phone number that's obviously mine the texts weren't inappropriate but obviously out of place they just tried to strike up a conversation but were obviously not done in my tone again i asked sasha and she seemed genuinely clueless and baffled i checked my online account and it confirmed that the messages were sent from my phone well she has access to all of his yeah. devices she has so access duh, to his it's, devices. it's her yeah like, what are you talking about no. Uh, it's, it's, it's a hacker. It was probably those sites you're those, watching. Those sites. Probably a robber broke into our house and, <laughs> and got onto your phone. Oh, you're so right, babe. You're mm. so right. Wow. Never thought of that. No, don't buy it. Yesterday, Sasha and I went out to celebrate her friend Danielle's promotion. When Sasha went to the bathroom, her friend Danielle brought up cheating. The favorite topic of the group. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not a hot button topic at all. Yeah. She told me about this ex that had cheated on her all the time and cheated in all of his relationships. Once a cheater, you know? Always a cheater. Always a cheater. I told her that for some people that is true. But I think once a cheater should be reflective of the relationship that someone cheated in. I always know Alma will see me as a cheater. I can't take that away, but I never want to cheat again. I never want to step into a relationship relationship and be treated like a cheater. Mm -hmm. I explained this to Danielle without referencing my past infidelity. She laughed and told me I deluded myself and that Sasha better keep an eye on me. If you come into a relationship with the like mindset of like you have to keep your your eye on your partner then what are we doing? Then yeah. what are we doing? The yeah, point? the trust is eroded and relationships yeah. are built on trust. And if you don't have that kind of trust, then it's like never going to it's, work yeah. long term or it will. And it will be hella it toxic, be torturous. We're Maybe that's right. fun. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe. Uh, Maybe they maybe. want a little fun toxicity. Oh, yeah. God. Mm. No, it's not fun. Sasha came back and I excused myself and told Sasha I felt sick and wanted to go home. She wanted to say and said that I could just Uber. I Ubered home and watched some Netflix. Sasha came home a little tipsy and began to slyly ask if I came home immediately or if I detoured. If I made a little pit stop before I got home. Yeah, there's no trust. There's the no trust, trust is eroded. Basically, no I mean, like, From just because of his past cheating, yeah. now he is being. I mean, I think each relationship is different, and yeah. you can learn from past relationships that what you did is wrong, and people grow. So, like, I also think if you go into a relation, as I said, if you go into a relationship with this type of mindset, then you shouldn't be going into that relationship. Yeah. If you're already like just lack trust for why the why yeah. why why pursue a relationship? Yeah, Cassandra Lay says just break up. Yeah, 100%. I feel. Yeah, Kelly S says wow. wow. Yep, that's over. over. <laughs> yeah. Kimberly finds says his name is not Inigo Montoya. His storyline isn't one track minded. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Great reference. So true. Sade Scott says, sounds like gaslighting to the highest. 
Stella Davis says girlfriend needs therapy so bad. I mean, they need to talk because this is yeah. like this relationship can't continue. Yeah, well, 100%. I feel bad Opie told up front their past and history yes. to be more open, and then it seems like it just didn't. And did say like, hey, if this yeah. bothers you, if yeah, you have questions, like it seemed fine at first, but then as time went on, it just seemed to just like snowball, bubble up yeah. until it just got crazy. Yeah. Devin Nelson has a <laughs> a great callback or or what a, a great retort to once a cheater always a cheater mm. if i cut hair once does that make me a barber Ooh, <laughs> damn i kind of like that one Wait, boards. then you could say if i killed one person does that make me a murderer yeah it doesn't <laughs> you just did it once riley yeah no <laughs> maybe it's like if i just killed one person does that make me a serial killer exactly yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. found it. Because that's like, if you're a serial killer, then that's your job, you know? But a murderer, that just like happens like casually. <laughs> but, but a serial a che- killer, a it's like, I'm and doing a murderer. It. But all right, but all right. In the, in the barber case, it's like, oh, yes, I cut hair once, but you wouldn't say you were a barber because a barber serially cuts hair in the same way that a murderer serially so murders. You're not a serial barber. <laughs> you're just a one time barber. He's not a one time. He's not even a barber. A barber, I, if you're a barber, you're doing it multiple times. We're cutting serial's hair. That is where we're at. We have cereal and we're cutting its hair. Actually, though, here's the thing. There's no manslaughter in cheating because manslaughter is accidental murder. Mm. There is no accidental cheating. That's true. There is no manslaughter in cheating. Well, all right. If you get drunk and crash someone and hit your car and kill them, that's manslaughter. That is manslaughter. If you get drunk and accidentally guide your body into another's body, it's not cheating. That is cheating. It's, It's manslaughter. No... It's cheating. I mean, yeah, it, it is cheating. Or it's but. worse. <laughs> yeah, or it's something worse. <laughs> exactly. Well, on that note, let's get back to <laughs> yeah, the okay, story. Okay, we're spiraling. Because I'm really, we're spiraling. Here we go. So I asked her why she was being so distrustful as I felt I kept communications open to her and have not given her a reason to not believe me. She went silent and then just excused herself to go to bed. When I joined her, she was on her laptop and slammed it shut huh. when I entered the room. Suspicious. Predictions? Spooky. Uh, she Let was, us know she was texting. She was She's texting cheating. His- X. With I his ex. She was cheating with oh, his ex. That's my conspiracy that would theory. Be. Conspiracy theory, she's cheating with his ex, and that's why she's <laughs> going through all of them. There it is. There Bam. it is. There you are. Ladies it. and gentlemen, drop your conspiracy theories below. Let us know. Give me Boom. It. Today, I'm fuming. I've done everything I feel I can to help alleviate any worries of cheating. I've done my best to be a better person, better than who I once was. I'm at a loss, and I don't know if this is a normal reaction when you date someone who has once cheated. Is this worth salvaging with Sasha, or should I just cut it and run? And we do have some relevant comments, but just to catch up everyone up to speed real quick. Yeah, get the TLDR. Yep, so Opie's in this new relationship. He cheated once in the past relationship because the relationship was falling apart. Not that it justifies it, but that's basically what happened. Happened. Opie was up front. He said, is there any issues? She was like, it's cool. It's all good. Yeah. And then slowly the one little snowball became 10 snowballs, became and then 20. And a snowman. And then a snowman. And then in the stampede of snowmen until it was an avalanche. And now she's bugging his computers and tracking him and doesn't trust him. And yeah. Opie doesn't know what to do. Break up. Break up. Yeah. Break up. Break up. Yeah. yeah. I, well, what do you guys think? Put your answers in the chat right now. Uh, Kelly S says, run far away. Stella Davis says, Cassandra hate me when that happens. I think that's in reference to something else. Yes. Kelly S says, knew it. The ones that accuse others of cheating are usually cheating themselves jada allen says break up yep silver hunter run for us run katarina break up and run okay i feel like everyone's saying yeah. run. consensus consensus sleepless, run sleepless night says uh, riley if you could scroll up just a twee a bit for me my boy yeah, you're- if you have to keep proving that you're not cheating i'm out been cheated on like seven times sleepless nights where are they yeah, yeah. where are they we will murder them i will one after on another I, yeah. I will murder them like it's my job yes that's right <laughs> because it is and okay, it, and I will be a serial murderer. Yes, that's right. Yeah, who's gonna make me put the hit on them right now? Yeah, yes. I want the contract. <laughs> who's who's gonna do it? <laughs> sleepless. <laughs> All right, guys, put Let's a W in the chat for Sleepless Night. Nice. She's the <laughs> yeah. best. She's the best. But we have some relevant comments, ladies and gentlemen. Also from the story, Chaos Collected says, "Dude, run. This is so beyond okay. A key logger texting people from your phone. You deserve someone who treats you based on your actions. You did something at a really bad time in your life that you regret and have bettered yourself from your past." shouldn't be held against you to which op replied it infuriated me that she texted alma i felt like it could have potentially dragged her into rehashing things about our past relationship that don't need to be 
but Sasha just acted so baffled and confused. I, for a moment, believed that she didn't text them and had no clue about what I was talking about. Uh, then OP responds on his feelings with his current girlfriend and that whole situation. I'm not sure if she's cheating or cheated or what caused her sudden interest, but I just kept rationalizing all of these things. Like maybe I wasn't honest enough, so she needed to download a keylogger. Uh, but it doesn't sound like he wasn't mm. honest. It sounds like you were very honest. Sounds from, like he was, he was too honest. Yeah. Perhaps. No, I'm kidding. You no. can't be too honest. Uh oh. Well, really? I think you can be too honest. Well, but I don't be, think this was too honest. I think this was fine. Yeah. Yeah. You could do a play by play of, uh, and then uh, I unzipped my zipper. <laughs> like you could do a Fifty Shades oh, of wow. Grey. A Fifty Shades of Grey honesty. <laughs> or okay, you could yeah, just say we had a one honest. night stand. That was you know? last stream. What? That was last the Fifty stream. Shades of Grey. What do we do? The comment section. Oh my God! The comments oh. were so no, thirsty. No, no, you should have said anything. Don't Never remind gonna do this. Oh, no. Sorry. Don't oh, remind my God. them. Sorry. Oh, man. Guys, I'm in a committed relationship. Please spare me. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> no, don't spare John. Get after him. <laughs> oh, don't tempt him. Right, right. Right, right. Right, right. right. All right. <laughs> right. But back to the story. Opie goes on to say, I am going to break up with her. I don't think that's even a question in my mind anymore. I just feel incredibly paranoid about everything now. I'm afraid she's going to track my cell phone, my messages, my computer. I'm posting this from my coworker's laptop. Wow. He can't even... Oh, so because he's worried that she's going to track him. See it. She'll oh. see it. Oh gosh. God. Yeah, break up. Did he say he wasn't going to break up or he was? He was. He said he was now, planning on breaking up, I but know. I mean, he hasn't done it yet. He hasn't done it yet. We're so get back into the episode, but John, I just have to thank you again for helping me out. You like helped cover up my steamy relationship history that's out there on the internet and even steamier pictures. Laura had his hand. We, we got you locked in. I realized that you are more exposed than my grandma was on a nude beach in the 60s. Okay. Oh, what are you talking about? Do you know about the clip that is going around the internet? of you being chewed out on national television in your past life as a uh, troubled reality TV star? Oh, sh is this what I think it is? Uh, play the clip. So I don't know if entrepreneurship is the right thing for you. And John, I only play that clip because I don't want it going anywhere else except for the OK fam. Uh, okay, apparently, we're, we're already putting me on blast. You need to be protected. <laughs> and right. there's only one way to protect yourself. Is it what I think it is, Sam? Aura. Let's sign up for it, baby. So there are these evil data brokers constantly hunting your private information, scraping your data, and selling it online. That's true, but Sam, Aura is protecting us. They're protecting our phone numbers, our email addresses, and a lot more. And I just signed up. I'm secured. I'm good to go. So these sketchy data brokers that we've been talking about, right. they legally have to remove your data if you ask. So we should be good, right? But the hoops you have to jump, it makes it almost impossible for individuals like our dumb butts to actually do the things that you need to do to your data out there. All right, well, check this out. So I'm looking here right now. Aura has been doing that as we speak, as we're playing this ad. They'll contact all the evil data brokers and get the data back. It's incredible. Really? Really. So get protected like your boys and sign up for Aura. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit from your private data, or you can go to Aura.com slash OKOP. So to start your two-week trial, that is free. Again, go to Aura.com slash OKOP. It's also linked down in the description below. But now let's get back into the episode. So I need to plan my moves without her catching wind. So I will publish a Reddit story for the world to see. <laughs> I yeah, I, I love how people are like, I need to be super secret. And yeah. that's just blasting this out to billions of people. I can't let anyone Damn. know, but you guys will keep a secret for yeah, me, right? You yeah. won't tell anyone. <laughs> No, maybe I'm being just overly paranoid, but I've never thought I would have to deal with a situation like this. And the final one, when talking about his past relationship with his ex-fiance Alma, when Alma and I talked, we both reflected on that. In her words, she was kind of grateful that I cheated because she thought that we wouldn't have had the courage or reasons to break things off otherwise. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> Babe, yeah. you're welcome. I really did us a favor by cheating. Yeah. He's like, dang, you're so right, babe. Let me, <laughs> let me throw it back and do yeah. it one more no time. one has emotional intimacy like me. <laughs> uh, she said she was kind of grateful that I cheated because she thought we wouldn't have had the courage to break things off otherwise and would still be unhappy and with each other. Part of me felt that the issues I was dealing with through Sasha was kind of karma for cheating. I do think that I diluted our issues in hopes that I could convince her that I am not that person anymore. We have a big old update. A big, big juicy fat update. update. Big old juicy fat update. But it like... <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, I'm a horse. 
I don't know if it can be rekindled. Like the, the fact know. that she was FBI sleuthing yeah. all texting, the things that he owns, texting people through like all because this stuff. she violated the yeah. trust in the relationship yeah. by by not telling him about all the stuff he was yeah. doing. And like it almost feels I'm going out on a limb here. It almost feels as bad as cheating to be this Snoopy. Because it destroys the trust in the relationship, yeah. which cheating also does. I think it destroys the, the trust in the same way. John's squinting at me. I, I, I can't tell if it's it. because... Like, emotional pain. It's right? different. It's different. It's different. It's different. But same. There's like a different emotional yeah. pain that comes of with course, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. But the same... Like I feel like it is... It does break the trust. The same. It is as destructive even though to, to a relationship, even though it's maybe like a different kind of pain. I yeah. think that cheating is like a cup of boom, water and then and then snooping for a lot of time is toxic in the long run. Yeah. Mm. It's like shooting someone in the head versus like poisoning someone. Wow. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah, shooting yeah. people. What a example. Wow. You're welcome. You're welcome. Example, Same man. as the king of examples. <laughs> just um, coming in with fun little examples in. for you. <laughs> and guys, okay, so we have an update, but I will catch everyone up to speed that who is new to the stream. Basically, we had OP who cheated, but, you know, it was rough patch in their relationship. Got into a new relationship, was very upfront, said all the things and was like, hey, if you have an issue, let me know. There were no issues until there were some. The girl started key logging yeah. his computer, texting yeah. his exes through his phone. <laughs> Doing all this stuff. And now OP is going to break up. Hasn't yet. Hasn't Brittany yet. Schmitz, we are not ignoring you. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Brittany. We would never yeah, we you. would never ignore you. Are but we also, we have like 300 people in this chat. If you haven't liked the stream already or commented, do so right now. Do what it. are you doing? What's your name? Do it. Yeah, we will find you. Drop it. Tell us your name. Yeah. And I will be contracted to murder you. Ooh, name and fun fact. <gasps> oh, name and fun, name fact. fun fact. Also, maybe put where everyone's from. Yes. Yeah, yeah. countries. Fun, fun do it. Yeah, Drop name, fun countries. fact, country. Go. All right, and, let's get back into this update, and though. We'll see the fun, the funnest fact of them all. So be good. Yeah, we'll read it. On to the updates. So, I am just going to sum things up because there's a lot of detail. That's too long for stories with friends, but maybe not read it. So Sasha told me that she was going to visit her mother because there was a health emergency last week. I took her to the airport and immediately moved all essentials out of my place to a storage locker not too far from it. Has he broke up with her yet? Please tell me. He, I don't think he's broken up. No. Because he's doing it all in the secret. No. They're FBIing each other. No. That's fucking crazy. Uh... Wow. I had my computer and phone scrubbed of any key loggers and trackers, Jesus of which Christ. there were several on each Jesus. device. Several trackers on each device. A good friend of mine offered me his spare room until the month is up, as I had to leave a 30-day written notice for Sasha in the apartment. My goodness gracious. 30-day written notice. Oh, of, so he's going to leave the I, apartment. I think a 30-day notice for 30 days. So Sasha can stay there right. for 30 days, like per the yes. lease is what I'm reading yeah, for that the lease, as. Yeah. Right. But also the Sasha. <laughs> Served a 30-day notice, I think, for her leaving. For, for her him, leaving. Him leaving. Yeah. He has to serve a 30-day notice. Well, for he's him. gone. He's not living there, but he's now like giving the 30 I think. Ah, the so he's notice. like, I'm exiting the lease. So Sasha can stay yeah. in that place. Yes. But and okay. the yes. lease will end in 30 see, days. Yeah, see, so he's staying with a friend during those 30 yeah. days. Kind of notifying Loki, the apartment, and yes. Sasha at the same time. I decided it would be best to wait until she got home to let her know we broke up so as not to distract her <laughs> from her family. <laughs> we We've already broken up. You just didn't know. Honestly, the fuck. <laughs> this is wild. Like, Why aren't you broken up? Yeah, he, he should have broken up before. He he, he should have. You, so yeah, up you can't just be like, "Hey, we broke up." You have to tell the person. Yeah, but to be fair, she probably already knows if she's she tracking him so she's well. Tracking, she's like, true, she true. Probably already knows. She she's has like, like already, chips probably implanted heard. into his brain. She's like, you didn't scrub the sixth and seventh trackers that I installed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you remember that butt plug we used that one time? A private uh -oh. detective to follow you. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. The day before Sasha was supposed to fly back, I received an eerie Facebook message from Alma. Ooh. Apparently, for the past couple of days, her home had been messed with. What the frick? Maybe we were wrong to judge OP so quickly. We don't know what this woman is capable of. We don't. And so I'm far, nervous. we don't have reason to trust her from not being True. bananas. True. Someone left gates open, tore through screen doors, broke a couple pots in the yard, and she felt like she was being watched. She asked if there was any chance that I or Sasha were behind any of this. This is crazy. It pained me to say... 
But part of me thought Sasha or Danielle might be. Who's Danielle? Danielle was the friend who was also like, oh, man, you know, once a cheater, I had someone oh, yeah, right, on right, right, me right. and yes. cheaters are the worst. <laughs> Which, fair enough. Put what you would do at this point in the story call right now. Like, do you police. call the police? Yeah. Do you break up with your girlfriend finally? Call the cops or you not. You break up with your girlfriend and then you call the police. Yeah. Call the cops or not. Let us know. It pained me to say, but part of me thought it might be Sasha or Danielle, as I had no idea where Alma currently even lived. I informed her about the key logger, the trackers, and other issues. Alma asked what kind of car I drove, as she noticed the same car driving by several times and was now parked at the end of her block at this very moment. Oh my God. Where is she still? Sasha? It was not Sasha's vehicle okay. or mine. So I assumed Danielle might be stalking Alma on Sasha's behalf while I was gone. What is it with friends that will go this far? Why? Y'all, okay. Some of y'all's friends need to check. Get a hobby. A really like check. terrible. Should never be done. But damn, that's a ride or die that friend right a there. Ride. That's they a need, ride. I want friends like those. They Do need you? To put their ride or die energy. <laughs> ride or die. In a completely different area. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. I mean, terrible, but damn. But damn. Good friend. They got it. Alma asked if I would come deal with this as she was very upset to be involved involuntarily in the issue and to at least provide company so she wouldn't be home alone. Guys, are you seeing... Company? Are you ICUing? Guys, can we put ICU Wait, is this in the comments fake? if we see? Is this fake? Wait, what? What are you <laughs> no. what are you thinking? Wait, cuz she said, "Oh, like I need someone to keep me company." So oh, is she like, is Alma lying? Is Alma lying to no. get OP to hook up with her? No, I don't think so. I no, mean, Alma wouldn't do that. I Alma, don't know no. what anyone will do. I don't know anything anymore. But Dude, what a I, pickup I, line. <laughs> I thought you were saying, "Does is the Sasha story now fake? have oh. Alma's phone and is texting him through oh, the phone fuck. and being like catfishing like, him yeah because she knows that op is all paranoid and stuff so she's she, kidnapped alma she's got alma and she's texting op through alma's phone and it's like hey i'm so worried can you please come here and, and i'm alone and we're definitely in conspiracy theory <laughs> land Sophie, right now I'm so sorry but yeah, I hope that's not it. We should go back to reality to actually see what happens. Yes, though. but that's the theory of what could happen. Okay. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. She gave me her address and off I went. Come to find out, Sasha never boarded that plane. She bought a ticket and turned around as soon as I did. She rented a car and went to stalk Alma, probably <gasps> in hopes to catch me going back to Alma, which in her eyes happened as soon as I showed up to Alma's place. Oh my God. It's just a earth shattering, self-fulfilling prophecy of yeah. insanity. And she's like, I knew it. She's I like, knew, I knew it. it. That's why I stalked her house. Bruh. Quaris Queen says my mind is fucking reeling. Same. I don't know what to believe. What is happening? Everything's this, alive. This is like the departed or like inception. Truly. Oh, I arrived and Sasha came back bulldozing out of her rented car towards me. She kept screaming at me for cheating on her. She knew I'd run back to that salute. Mm -hmm. Whoa. The second that she was gone, I couldn't keep my wiener in my pants. Alma came out of her house at the sound of the screams and Sasha tried to sprint at her. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thankfully, Alma was able to get back into her home and lock the door in time while Sasha began to hurl things around her yard. She's crazy. But OP's like just in the yard. Is he just him. watching? Just watching her just go and just destroy her home. Taking pots, throwing it out, out the fence. Taking gnomes, throwing it against the door. Smashing uh, the Digging up the mulch. Kicking the dirt. Ripping the flowers out of their flower beds. Eating her tomatoes. If you're watching someone do this, like, do you just watch or do you like... What do you do? I think I would Judo like... Judo throw them? <laughs> Here's what I would do, right? I would be... Guys, let us know what you would do, but... This is me. I would be ready. This is my position, right? Yeah. yeah. Because I Karate need to. Chopping. I need to. No, I'm like hovering, like 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 kind of you're, fighter stance. Yeah, yeah. Because she could start throwing stuff at me, but I you gotta, gotta stand. I gotta be gotta agile and dodge. In standby mode. And I gotta watch to make sure she doesn't try to break into the uh. house to get Alma. So I'm also in sprint mode in case she tries to like right. break through the window. Right. So like, let her throw stuff. Let her damage the property. Let but let, let the police handle that. Yeah. If You'll, she starts going into the house, that's, that's when. when you have to go. Thunder and lightning coming. Right? 
Thunder yeah. and lightning. Yeah. 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 John's going to get the old one though. Didn't know this was California, but if we're taking it to the gun show. It didn't work. I, didn't. <laughs> I tried. Uh, I tried, okay? Put an L in the chat. You got promised for those guns? Oh, hey. pal, oh. baby. Put an L in the chat for my terrible jokes, ladies and gentlemen. I saved Thank it. you. You did. <laughs> Sophia saved it. Put a W in the chat for Sophia. Put a W in the chat for Sophia. My goodness. Now, thankfully, Alma was able to get in the home, lock the door while Sasha was hurling things around the yard. The police arrived and took everyone aside for statements. <gasps> Alma showed pictures of prior damage, photos of the car parked at the end of the block, Facebook messages between me and I did the same. Surprisingly, it seemed that Sasha didn't even deny any of it. She even admitted to stalking Alma's Facebook enough to determine where she lived based on the photos. Oh, no. Dude, woman. she's geo-guessing. She's <laughs> fucking geo-guessing. Oh. Imagine, imagine if she used her powers for good. She could be a, a part of the FBI. She could True. be part of the FBI, or she could just like do the geo-guesser streams and she be on TikTok. She's really good at geo -guesser? And it's like, that grass is yeah. slightly yeah. off yeah. green Poland. New Zealand. <laughs> God, I love that guy. We gotta get yeah, him on I, the show. You know I met him. I mean, yeah, he was you walking this. Street, street, and right? I'm like, where are we? And it was a dick move, but and he was like, "Hi, <laughs> shut up, shut the fuck up." You know how much I get that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Rain bolts, I think, is his name. <laughs> Shout out to him. Yeah, I have this really impressive 27 year streak. 27 years. That 27 years. is what, like, half your life? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. The streak is I have never broken a bone in my body in my whole life. Ever. Ever. Nothing. Really? Zero. Have you really been living then? See, that's the thing is <laughs> I'm I'm kind of scared. If this happens, wh where am I going to turn? Yeah. I, honestly, I'm, I'm terrified. I don't know where to go. Yeah. Well, I feel like if you do ever break a bone, yeah. there is one place you should turn always. Where? ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. And all these doctors have actual reviews from real verified patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient reviewed credible doctors and specialists. You can filter for ones that take your insurance and treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor on ZocDoc is only 24 to 72 hours. Sometimes even the same day. Y'all, we all use ZocDoc and you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash OKOP and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's docdoccom slash OKOP, ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. Back to the show. So, Opie says, the worst moment was when they put Sasha into the police car. She looked me dead in the eye and told me that what she did, she did for me and our love together. Ooh. And we will be together. She swears it. She swears. Ooh. The officer apologized and said that I should start looking into a restraining order ASAP. Damn. Yo, when the police are like, yo, you got to get a restraining order ASAP. That's, bruh. you know, they have not broken up yet. Yeah, that's still, still his together. girlfriend. That's still, still his girlfriend. That's still his girlfriend. He's like, that is my that's girlfriend. That's my girlfriend. Like, How, dare How dare you? Dare you? you <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't get in the way of our love. She might be a stained stalker. She might be a literal criminal. But, but she's not until you get criminal. It. Yeah. That is my girlfriend. She, you know what? She cussed me up every night officer and i love it you know she what the real crime she goes she crazy on the gnomes and on me oh shoot shoot what she might need to get guillotine but that head crazy <laughs> <laughs> who said that <laughs> oh, somebody said that or oh, is that riley is that riley, <laughs> riley. riley. Who said that? why are you saying that riley <laughs> Jesus. Okay, are you ready for this one? This is what I was going to say. Okay. Officer, the only crime she's committed is stealing my heart. Oh, uh, those are different energies. Those are <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Riley or John? Devin Riley Nelson Riley says, oh, Riley. Oh, Riley. <laughs> oh, oh, They're just oh, disappointed. Oh, Riley. Auto oh, parts. Oh, Ow! No, stop. No, people like Riley's. People like Riley's, dude. Jelly Buzz said Riley's hilarious, you know? The Riley, you know what's up. So, what did they do in the 70s? They we go. gave each other head. <laughs> Only in the 70s? <laughs> well, also. I love how everyone thinks just went silent. It's like, they just gave each other head. <laughs> I'm right, back to the story. <laughs> We're so close. Go back to the no, story. Sam, why don't you explain it? Can you break down that joke and just explain it? I'm just it saying it. She's like, what was happening in the 70s? We're talking about head. <laughs> Riley did the guillotine joke. Guillotine. Well, whatever. <laughs> Guillotine. <laughs> On the Please relevant comments, Hella Fitz says, 
She looked me dead in the eye and told me that what she did was for me and our love together. We will be together. Oh she god. swears. Oh my god. Dude, so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> these movies almost be getting there. These romantic yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, Anyways, watch the Notebook. That and aside, that shit crazy. That aside, the commenter says that is so unsettling. I am glad that you and Alma are safe. You should talk to her about looking into getting a restraining order for herself against Sasha, which I agree with. Like she came 100%. after Alma, oh, yeah, way yeah. more than OP. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, it seems like it's a jealousy thing. Like, you can't have him. He's mine. He's mine. Yeah, even though there's literally no proof that that's There's only true. one way to make sure that you can't have him. Ooh. Death. Death. OP responds to all this. I'm not sure what Alma's plans are right now, but we're both refraining from further contact from each other. She's removed herself from Facebook, and that is all I know. Wild Stallions 111 says, I don't understand your ex's plan or really the story, why did your ex assume that you would go over to Alma's house? How did she know that Alma would ask for your help? Why did Alma ask for your help? And why did Alma even suspect it was your girlfriend? So is it like, are Alma and Sasha conspiring together? Is that what no, is being I hinted at? I think it's just, she's asking, or this person's asking questions of like, why were you still the person that Alma called? Right. Well, yeah, it's but like, people call their exes. Like I was talking to my ex. Well, because weekend. it's beyond, it's that. And like, yo, you're involved in this. And like low key, it's obviously Sasha's fault because yeah. she's crazy. Yeah. But it's like, yo, I need help. Yeah. And you're the one that's like in the mix. Like you're yeah. kind of tied to it. How does she it. know that it was Sasha or OP's car though? I think she, she said, said you know she this said, I, yeah, she, cause she got broken into and she's like, Hey, I've around. seen this. I know like your ex is kind of crazy or your, <laughs> your current your girlfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, is kind of crazy. I think yeah. Yet to be was. ex. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yet they're still together. They are yeah. still together. They're still happily together. To yeah, this day. and Josie Mendez says maybe she asked because of the previous incident. Oh, Remember, because true. she went into his phone, texted all the exes. Yeah, texted and Alma the found ex. out. Oh, exactly. she later communicated yeah. with Alma about that. That makes sense. Sasha assumed that I would go over to Alma's house because she thought I would go back to her to have an affair with her. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing this stemmed from the unprompted Facebook message Alma sent me regarding the weird texts that she received. <laughs> yeah reaching out because it's like why am i getting all of these the random, fucking weird yeah. things weird text. text that i'm not sending why do we stop using spell that t because a majority of you hated it because, yes <laughs> that's it <Yeah. laughs> donate ten thousand we're bringing it back no, i'm just kidding no. <laughs> so alma asked for my help because she recognized it was my girlfriend or my girlfriend's friend more than likely causing this due to the dates and the new information regarding the tracking that she had found out about and sasha has a very distinct feature so that if you facebook stalked her you could easily point her out in a lineup or in a car that drives by at least four times what oh, is a distinct feature i guess distinct features like it's easy to like what distinct features could eyebrows nose like that like um uh, what's his face eyebrow guy yeah y'all know who I'm talking about the basketball eyebrow guy a no but there's no <laughs> way Anthony Davis is that the oh, eyebrow no, guy that's not who I'm talking about yeah that's uh, Anthony Davis Will Poulter who are you talking about Brianna says she is super pretty maybe and says she says nose and glasses I don't know she got them curves. I think it's I think she's it's got, got them what eyebrows. got them curves oh curves Carol Deville or something Cara the Cara Deville the eyebrow. Yes, right? What? She's got the eyebrows, right? Yeah. Oh, is it? Those is are that distinct eyebrows. Eyebrow? No, she's just got boom. <laughs> big old eyebrows. Uh, I don't know. It's a statement. All right. Well, Josie says maybe bright colored hair. I think that's probably it. Ah, bright that's colored it. hair. That's, yeah. See, what are we doing here? Thank so you. So clever. That's it. So OP on cutting contact with Sasha and her family. Oh, I have no intention of talking to her anymore. So they can't break up. I just still hope that she can get the help she needs before she started to tip and spiral she was generally a wonderful person i hope someone helps her find stability in that mindset and not this crazy one and i spoke to her mom to let her know what is going on but i have been advised to seize contact with anyone with obvious ties to her yeah mm -hmm. and it's we, crazy that she has like a whole army supporting her yeah, endeavors this is a cult. Yeah. and uh the story is over and we're still together they're still together wow are they actually still together they haven't broken up have well, they, they haven't they broken, haven't broken up. up please tell me there's it. an update is there an update is that it and that's so it they that's have it moral of the story yep because they haven't broken up he is a cheater and will always be a cheater that's Whoa. true that is true because if he has any relationship yeah. once a cheater always a cheater true and 
It, it fulfilling prophecy. He is going to cheat again because he never broke up. Because he never broke up. Yeah. That's true. He said he was going to date again. Ooh, didn't think about that. He might be done with dating forever. Maybe he'll Ooh. go. Asexual. Uh, yeah. Marco M says loophole. David Arnold says, "Wow, that's extreme." Luz Bodita says, "Cheater and a dumbass." <laughs> Trisha Stewart says, nice 10 things I hate about you reference. We, we had we talked about 10 things I hate about hey, you. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a movie? Yeah. It is a movie. <laughs> nice. Yes. John, it's, it's, a movie. it's a great movie. It's one of my favorite rom-coms. Nice. Heath Ledger. Bro. Heath Ledger. Yeah, dude. Rest I in peace. I know him. Okay, he was in it. He was in a rom-com? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yeah, when he was younger. <laughs> yep. Wow, that's so cool. Before he did Joker. <laughs> yeah. It's really great Aramon movie. said, got him out on technicality. I love it. You know what else you're going to love? Ooh. This next well, story. Wait, 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 wait. We promised a happy birthday song at the break. That we did. Thank you, Sophia. You're welcome. Are sleepless nights. Are you here? Are you here? Sleepless nights. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's sleepless it's sleepless nights here. birthday. Is she here? Denise Demegwu. Thank you. Lots Woo. of fun from London. In it. Let's go. It. All right. We are We're going waiting? to uh, sing happy yeah. birthday right now. Right now. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Woo. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday, dear sleepless nights. Happy birthday to you. That's right. All right. Happy and birthday. For your birthday gift, we're going to give you <laughs> the this next story. Woo! Uh, so birthday. am I the a-hole for telling my sister that her husband is having an affair? Nah. Yes. This comes <laughs> yeah. from Financial Olive 1586. And they say, I, 17 female, have a sister, 25 female, married to James, 38 male. This happened about a week ago. I was with my friend and we were having lunch at a restaurant. There we saw James with another woman. Normally, I thought this was his friend, but she was being very clingy. It looked like they were on a date. The woman was whispering something into his ear. I felt disgusted. I wanted to confront him there, but my friend said to stay low and start recording so that we can have proof. Mm. Whoa. We recorded everything. Sleuth, so Even after they left the restaurant. Oh, God. Then we bugged their laptops oh, no. and installed cameras oh, into their my. room. No, they didn't do that. Okay. Call back to the last story. After leaving the restaurant, I went straight to my sister's place. I sat her down and showed her the video. Instead of crying, she got angry and started accusing me of ruining her marriage. She screamed profanities Whoa. at me and said that I'm jealous of her. Whoa. It's not true. I always want what's best for her. I tried to explain my side and she kicked me out. I noticed that she blocked me everywhere. Yesterday, my mom came into my room, I guess, and asked, what did I do? My sister was pissed off and told mom that I was trying to break up her marriage. I told mom everything. She was disappointed and said she will talk to her. I haven't heard from her or James. My mom told me to not contact her now. My dad doesn't know anything. I just don't know what I did wrong. I was only looking out for her. I was trying to be a good sister. Am I the a-hole? And there are some relevant comments and an update. Whew. But chat, what do we think? Is OP the a-hole? John, Sophia, is OP the a-hole here? No. No. So to run it back, OP it back. saw his sister's husband. Cheating. Not cheating, just whispering Being in some woman's ear. Intimate or no, looking. a woman was whispering into his ear. Into his so we ear. don't know if he was cheating or not, but it's it not looked 100%. like she was being like intimate it ain't looking good. on a woman. It's looking with a woman. Back. On a yeah. woman. It's looking oh, yeah, back. intimate with a woman. Yes. And then OP recorded the video, ran that back to the sister. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And it was like, yo, look, look what at what he's doing. doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she got all mad. Yeah. And really quick for everyone coming in, we got a super chat from Devin Nelson. Happy birthday, sleepless nights. Woo! Thank you. Moonshine Grace, another five bucks. And then Sky Nicholson, 20 bucks. I hope everyone is having a great night. I got to wake up early tomorrow, so I'll catch the live later. Good night. Me too. Also, this live is going to go private. So if you want to see this live after it's done, make sure to join our little Sillies member community. There's a little join button below this, and that's where all the lives will go. Or the episodes will like, come out in a couple weeks. That's but right. Want to get them early? Join our little community. Check it out. Yeah. But yeah. So, what do we think? Not the a hole. I, I think the know. only thing is the maybe the no. I mean the filming. I've been the proof. That's the filming is the proof. Yeah. yeah. Just like taking a little yeah. video. Yeah. Like, and it's like she's not saying that she's cheating or he's cheating. She's, she's just like, like here's, here is. I yeah. saw this. 
yeah. Do with the, yeah. yeah. Not the do it with what you will. Because you want to, like, like the reaction from the sister is kind of weird. Like, I think if want... Sa- Sam, like, if you saw, like, if I had a partner and you saw them cheating, yeah. I would want to know. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, like, hey, like, I took or a at least, like, I sure. wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, I saw him cheating or I, I would just. I saw him with another person. With another woman. And I just yeah. wanted to let you know. Took this yeah. little video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to let you know. Yeah. That's good. I think that's fine. Yeah. That's good. Not the a hole. Yeah. Not the a hole. Not the a hole. And Janae Jackson says, not the a-hole. I would personally want to know. However, some people really love shooting the messenger because it's easier yeah. than blowing mm-hmm. up their own lies. Quasar Queen says, OP, not the a-hole. And Victoria Maya says, you need to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. That's right. But the truth. Yeah, I agree. But let's see what actually happens yes. in this update. Let's do yes. it, baby. Yes. So relevant comments, actually. We're getting into relevant comments before the update. Alert Refuse 9138 says, not the a-hole. Maybe they're swingers and she's chai. Or maybe she thinks she got a man out of her league and letting him disrespect her is the only way to keep him. I'm hoping they're swingers. OP, if anything, James got a girl who is out of his league. My sister is very pretty and educated. He has been divorced before and engaged two times before he met my sister. Alert responds. Then it sounds like she's maybe overwhelmed with internal fighting. And even if she's the catch, things can still be shaky. And she lashed out at you because things are shaky. It's very confusing why she would get mad at you. Is there any additional info we were missing? Do you and your sister normally get along? Lashing out at you was wrong. You were simply trying to inform her of something that presumably any person would want to know. And then OP responds. I have a theory. She didn't tell dad. Dad never approved of her relationship with James due to an age gap, and that could be the reason Mm. because she's 25 and James is 38, Mm -hmm. which is that too much of an age gap? I want to know what seems like a, like a, a large age gap. Yeah, you do. I think it's a big age gap, but I think when you're like 25, I think it's... Yeah, so okay. like if it was like yeah. a 27 and a 40-year-old, for example. Like, you think that's you fine? Like... I, I think that would be okay. That's okay? Wow. So I met this 39-year-old woman the okay. other day. Um, let's move on. <laughs> I take it back. I hate it. Go. Yes! Bro, I really, yes! I really set you up for success. <laughs> Let me run it back. You said it was fine. I'm going back on my word. You said it was fine. Okay, just, story time. Okay, fine. story time. Right, okay, story, story time. time. Okay. It's not I fine. actually, I need to text her back. You guys need to give Don't me advice. Don't text oh, yeah, her back. Yeah. Ashley yes, Parker. Text her back. Uh, thanks huh? for the five bucks. Happy birthday, sleepless. I love you all so much. You've become part of my daily routine. I'm almost always listening to your videos. We appreciate I'm you. Alex, back. 26, okay. and uh, their boyfriend is 41. Boom. See, fine, Same Sophia. Thing. Anyway, for okay, story guys. time after. Not for Sam. All right, we'll get into the update. So if you remember, I posted here yesterday just a short update, but it's kind of juicy. So, and those of you who suggested that I should have sent her that video anonymously, I don't think so. I mean, she is my sister. I can expect her to believe me. I think that's true. Shouldn't have sent it anonymously. Anyways, yesterday my sister came to our house with her bags. She Oh, she moved out. had left James. Mm. I was in my room but was eavesdropping. My mother was consoling her while she cried. As far as I know, she will be divorcing James. And then she came into my room and apologized. She said that she already had suspicions when James was hiding his phone a lot. Mm. But my proof has made her suspicions come true. She yeah. reacted badly. She wanted it to be false because she fought the entire world to be mm. with him. Really? Mm. That guy, sis? Damn. She even sis. fought dad and dad was right about him. Mm. Dad warned her that he is manipulative and she is way too young to be married to him. She was 20. Oh, they were thinking yeah. about having children. I am glad she left him. We talked for hours. This was the first time in five years we talked and spent time like this. I always felt she distanced herself from us. And moreover, I'm glad dad didn't slap the I told you so on her face. Mm. He was extremely supportive of her decision to leave and never spoke about their fights they had before she got married. I am really happy I got my sister back. She and I had a sleepover, talked shit about James, and cried a lot. I am not mad at her anymore. I know what she did was wrong, but I get where she was coming from. P.S. Dad did know about it. Mom told him the minute my sister called. I guess I was wrong about that. In fact, it was my dad who went to her house to help pack the things. And then some quick relevant comments before we wrap up. JTD177 says, it's not always easy to do the right thing, but it's always the right thing to do. I'm glad it worked out for your sister. I hope she finds happiness and healing and the two of you support each other and grow, grow closer. Stand by her. She is at the beginning of her journey and there'll be many hard days ahead. OP responds, hope there is a quick, easy divorce for her. My dad already threatened that he would break James's arm if he comes near my sister. Yo. Hope that he won't. So that's where it kind of ends. But what do you think about like the sending anonymously thing? That was 
weird. Mm, yeah. Why wouldn't you just be like, hey, it was exactly how, how you phrased it earlier. It's like, hey, here's what I saw. Not like, he cheated, he cheated, he cheated. It's yeah. like, hey, I saw him out with another woman. I took this video. I wanted you to know and... Yeah. yeah, and that's it. Do with it what you will. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Agreed. Yeah, Agreed. And then, uh, sorry, Absolute Melancholy says, so he did cheat. Truthfully, the mom should apologize if she hasn't. I really think that age gaps like that, it is really something the younger one should consider. Life experience does matter a bit. And then Stella Bogfelt says, age is just a number. How mature you are is not always following the age number or how young you feel, even though age is higher. So it's like the age gap doesn't really matter too much. Not at all. Yeah. Zero. Zero? Zero. Zero. Okay, wait, wait. A little okay story time. <laughs> hey, I did the math. I did the math. You're yeah. good. Her, uh, it's 26. So I just want to put that out there. Perfect. It's half your age plus seven. The, the, the yeah. golden rule. Or the whatever. golden rule. It's like, yeah, half your age yeah. plus seven. Yeah. To be clear, we are in agreement. OP did nothing wrong. Yes. And it's good where it happened. Barbie RT says, so you look sleepy. Are you sleepy? A little bit. She's just not excited for this OK story time. Ah, uh, that also too. Yeah. It's also, yeah. she has like a moon and sheep sweater. You know? Yeah, so it's so it sleep. Like, I'm so, so cozy. Adds to the cozy vibes. OK. OK story time. Yep. I went Talk to a party. It. Yep. I met this woman. <laughs> yes. And Truly we a woman. had a we had a great conversation. Mm -hmm. She was awesome. She's she was a beautiful woman, some might say. I would say. Some um, say it. <laughs> say it. Some might yeah, say it. Yeah, I, I will say it. And she was super interesting, like in a weird kind of way. She like let a homeless person sleep in her car for a couple of months, like a random person on the street. Respect. Which is kind of cool, kind of like weird, but yeah. like in a, a cool kind of way. I don't know. She was wacky and weird, but like yeah. in, in the ways that I like. Anyway, she's been like <laughs> texting me and like wanting to hang out, which I was not prepared for. And I need advice. Don't text some her. Of that young blood. I, I, <laughs> Don't text her. I need advice on what to say. Nothing. So she asked me. She said she's going to be on the west side tomorrow. Oh, it's and too far away. If, uh, <laughs> and if if I was free, I said I'll be working all day. What do I invite her to? Nothing. Because I I am free Saturday afternoon, but it's raining. So like she's thirty nine. <laughs> So, all right, put in the comments what you think I should invite her to. What do 39 year old women like? I wanted to invite her to like build Legos in our house. That's not a 39 year old woman. But activity. that feels like a not a 39 year old woman. You know activity. who would enjoy that? A 27 year old? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like Legos are universal. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Cassandra said, listen to your sister. <laughs> listen you. to Sophia. Thank archery. you. Yo, archery. Archery in the rain? Archery. Oh. Someone said assisted living. Let's be boutique. Wine tasting yeah. actually is a good yeah, idea. Yeah, wine tasting. Hey, kombucha. Hey, wine tasting said. is a good idea. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Kind of I, I, I like, I like wine throwing, tasting. Honestly? Axe throwing is genius. That is true. I'm scared of I axe throwing. Axe I think it would it would bounce back on me. I don't know. Honestly, I kind of just want to get Legos and tell her like, "Hey, do you want to build Legos?" I'm not expecting that. What about <laughs> honestly? Wait, wait. Okay, if we can be really honest, I just want to fit some Legos into each other, dude. <laughs> hey, John, don't make this sexual. <laughs> don't make this sexual. I wasn't. I just want to take bricked up Lego bricks and just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How old is your you mom? Know, just... I was actually thinking that. How old is your mom, Sam? Fifty. Four. Four, four, no, because that's 60. Oh, 56. 55? 56. 56. Something like that. Something like that. Also, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. So <laughs> 27 and 40, but then 29 and 40? Feels like nothing. 20. Easy. Yeah, nothing. Feels like nothing. Nothing. 27 and 40, I think is too But it's big. 27 <laughs> and 39. Oh, that's also too big. Easy. Not, easy I think dude. it's fine. Wait, what's the oldest you have been on a date with so far? Me? Yeah, you. I'd probably like 29. Yeah, but it feels like you are like mentally like 24. <laughs> <I'm> ment <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He has been maturing recently. I've seen him mature over the past three days. Crazy. Over the past three days? Yeah. Yeah, actually the past <laughs> three, okay? He is He's been maturing these past three days. Before that, no. A day, Sophia, a day a year, he, he is in his 30s now. He, yeah. he matured a day a year in the past yeah. three days. He's yep. in his 30s now. Wow. Maturity wise. Once you turn 27, you're basically 30. Okay, so wait. All right. I'm going to say, if you want to build Sam's, Legos. Cassandra Perry says, uh, Sam is mentally 18. <laughs> Damn, yo! Coming for a boy. <laughs> Sheesh. All right. I'm going to say, how about Legos? Don't. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not Legos. What? Why not Legos? Legos? You not are not going to get a date with me oh, if you do Legos. Oh, no. I have 
have to read a story. Uh, okay, <laughs> Sophia, read a story. <laughs> I want to say Legos. Well, if you say Legos, she's actually into you. She will get Legos with you. Yeah. <laughs> Make her pay, though. Dude, if you could get that to happen, <laughs> you're locked in. We get some Legos. <laughs> what uh, what story are we on? And assemble uh, them. This is 334 S3. Inside S3. While it's raining. 334? Yep. Story three. Dunk. Donk, da, da, donk, 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 donk. Like it was bad for arthritis. I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Yo! Oh. Cassidy going crazy. All right, all right, all right. Le- Legos or not? Put Legos in the chat or put not nah in the chat if you should. I, yeah, Legos. Or, or Legos or wine. I'm either going to say Legos or wine. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> all right. Next Life story. <laughs> You ready? Yep, go. Escape ready? Room with the cougar. cougar. <laughs> this is the greatest banter segment on live of all time. Uh, I'm right. sorry for wine. the torture, Sophia. Legos and wine. Oh, oh, shit. How about we get some Legos? Or uh, Michelin star restaurant. Run that back. No, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> How about we get some Legos and wine and assemble inside while it's raining on Saturday. Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Oh, no. Thank God I'm in San Diego. <laughs> All right. So this is going to say, how about we get some Legos and wine and assemble them to assemble inside while it's raining. Oh, uh, Kawhi says I'm 35 and I say Legos all the way. Okay. All right. How about we get Boom. some wine and Legos and assemble inside while it's raining Saturday afternoon. Done. I'm going to send it. Send it. I'm sending it. At, at 9.48 p.m. <laughs> I just sent it. I just oh, sent it. Unsend- oh, my God. I just sent it. <laughs> There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, we got a kick. It's all because kick of y'all. Here. Yeah, Bam. we got a, someone on kick. Let's yeah. go. Let's Yo, go. kick. I can't What's say up, your Bobby? name. <laughs> uh, I can't read Yo. your name, but yeah, shout out to you. Oh, you are you. definitely from kick. You are definitely a user on kick. Yep, <laughs> 100%. I want to surely tell Barbie RT says, tree. what if she is watching? Oh, yeah. If you are, you're really cute, and I like talking to you, um, and I feel like we connected. I want to call my dad out for being a cheater, but would I be the a-hole? No, I think, again, truth all the way. Truth all the way. Tell him. Tell like it is. Yeah. Or lie. Or lie like it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fantastic Ear 326 says, I, 17 female, cannot stand my dad, 50s, and am at my breaking point. He's a borderline misogynist, racist, who married my non-Caucasian mom and continues to berate her for language difficulties and the fact that she doesn't have a stable full-time job. Having raised me, then my younger siblings, full-time, him never having changed my diapers, she's at a massive disadvantage, ignoring the fact that she doesn't have citizenship here. He flaunts to us how he makes more money than any of us, thus he is the most successful. Weird flex. That is Jeez. Weird. He's like, I make more Done. money than you children. <laughs> This guy is canceled. Yeah. The more I hear his resume, the more I hate him. Yes. That's so weird to tell a 17-year-old that you make more money than them. (laughs) You're like, yeah, "Yeah, I know you've been alive for 17 years, and I've been alive for 50s. We don't know the exact age. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. 50s. (laughs) 50s, 39. I am 50s yeah. years old. <laughs> yeah. However, he goes on massive rants about how we take up a lot of money, and he doesn't have enough money to support us. So my mom picked up two part-time jobs. I work partially part-time to cover normal teenage costs like lunch money and some of my extracurriculars. He reminds us daily this is not our house. We live here as leeches. And then there's a little nice. crying. That's voice. called children. I, I mean, well, I shouldn't say that's called children, but it's children. <laughs> the children. They leech. They leech. Live at the house. They live at the house. Yes. Baby, suck your fun. <laughs> Get out there and earn your keep, okay? Yeah, yeah. Jelly Boss says he's an asshat. Agreed. Agreed. I don't know. Also, the extracurriculars is not normal teenage costs. What do you mean no. extracurriculars? They say, like the, paying for yeah, clubs and yeah, that's not normal teenage stuff. costs. I mean, many do, but yeah, but it's, I, it's not, like yeah. it wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's across the board. It no, seems no, like no, he's no, just no. sucks. Yeah, agreed. I'd be like, if you're so rich, then why don't you? Why don't, why don't you, you pay it? for my extracurricular? I think you're poor, actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, gaslight of it. Yeah, 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 like, yeah you yeah, actually yeah, can't make that much money because I'm paying for my lunch. If you could, you would buy me that Rolex. Yeah. Daddy. <laughs> also, <laughs> that's a whole nother story. Uh oh. <laughs> also, more than so ever, he tries to convince Stop. us. Let me read. <laughs> 
All right, go. <laughs> also, more than ever, he tries to convince us he can do whatever he wants. No household chores, drink, and eat fancy food on weekends. Take all the days off because he makes more money than us. What is this? Who is this man? He makes more money, so all our opinions, values, beliefs, the marks of an unsuccessful person. Ouch. Oh, I don't know what that means right there. Recently, my mom suspected him of cheating, which he supposedly did so early in their dating. My mom suffered her first miscarriage. He went out drinking with some girl. Later, after long nights, alone with baby me, and he's off somewhere. No concrete evidence, but him returning to this suspected habit would make sense, as he makes up random excuses. He's never consistent with where he is or where he was, and his mood swings are superbly intense. His recent arrogant behavior, too. Anyways, I was curious, so I got into his private insta we'll admit this is morally gray here so this can come back to bite me later mm. his private insta is flooded with like females i don't know who do bdsm stuff oh, oh wow <laughs> you know i'm going to a sex dungeon this this week. and i felt really <laughs> gross so i didn't peek any further into dms <laughs> So again, no concrete evidence he's cheating. It's but true. On one of my, but on one of my many 6 a.m. tidy the whole damn house quests, I found BDSM gear hidden under the couch. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. It sure as hell ain't what my mom's. What is BDSM gear? Like a whip like chain, whips like and cuffs. Uh, spanky rope. hanky hanky why spanky. do you guys know that yeah yeah john what do you know why do you do, why, why do you, you not, not know because i don't do that yeah. you don't have to do it to right. know about it. Educated. get educated yeah. Bro. That's weird. yeah learn about it riley yeah no i'm okay also produce it's not as fun as you think i'm just interviewing a dominatrix oh I'm that not, oh that yeah, yeah that does change the story yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry i should have let you get that out <laughs> 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 Made you seem worse. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough concrete evidence to prove something is going on. Also, cheating would explain where all his money is going if he's paying for special services. I'm so mad right now. He's always reprimanding me for honesty, integrity, and tells me I have to lead a moral life. We live somewhere where news spreads pretty diddly darn fast. <laughs> would I be the a-hole if I called him out for cheating, tell my mom, let it inevitably spread around town, and ruin his social image? <laughs> Ah, I knew it. Mm. I think obviously tell the mom. Yeah, oh, tell the mom. Yeah, sure. but it could be that again they have like an open thing where it's like, oh yeah, that's just what He's he does on Saturdays. Yeah. Which ha we have seen it on this we, show before. Yeah, we have. Where so you can't like, count it out. Oh my god, I saw mom and dad hooking up, and they're like uh, with another person. Uh, yeah, it's and they're like, yeah, they're swingers or whatever. It's what we do. Yeah. I yeah. saw mommy doing uh, Belinda Lane says bondage, domination, sa sadism, and masochism. Oh, thank you for that the is the uh, acronym. Definition. I never yeah. knew that. I, I need to get educated. I didn't know that. Cassidy Temp says, y'all, I never subscribed to YouTube channels, but I had to for you. Ah! Freaking ah! thank you. Ooh, thank you. Also, if you haven't liked this stream. What are you doing? What the heck? There's the door. You see it. No, no, no. Stay, stay. No, they don't can't, leave. They can't Whoa. see the door. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, stay. but, but, like it. But like it, please. I like it. Um, but you know what? I like. I will read some comments. She has not responded to my text, by the way. Yet. Ooh. That's because it's ten o'clock. Yeah. But I don't know. It's Sam's trying out a dommy mommy. Says <laughs> Sandra Perry. <laughs> Sorry, I have to lean over here because I can't see the I can't see them. Uh Werewolf 1385. Johansson says, Yes, tell the mom. I agree. Cassie Temp says, John, don't show me the door. I just bought your membership. Hey, listen, thank you. Thank you for joining not, our little silly. Not only uh do you have a are you not getting kicked out, you're being invited in. You're being Hello. invited back Hello. in. Hello. Uh you can stay over. Sky Hollis says, This is my first live stream. I'm listening while at work. Also recently joined Little Silly. Let's Woo! go. Cassandra Lay says, Sam, it's late. She's sleeping. Yeah. She has been like answering my texts very quickly. 